Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome to the Arcos Climbing Gym in Animas. Now for today's show we're going to start something that we've never done before because we're in a gym and myself and Hugo behind the camera, we've never done an indoor climbing project. So what we thought would be cool is to pick a climb here that is way too hard for us, film it for a period of about a month, show our training process, show the red point process and just give you guys an insight into us climbing. Do, do you want to come? Hello. Yeah. This is weird. I'm, I'm on this side of the camera. We're going to go climbing. <laughs> So we're in this gym, it's pretty mega. You've never been here before. This is the first time, it's very impressive. Let's talk climbing grades here because I climb a lot, I try mm -hmm. to anyway. Uh, my, my standard and skill fluctuates wildly depending yeah. on beer consumption and travel trips. Of course. Uh, you've been climbing for quite a long time, but it's, it's tricky because you've got kids, there isn't a gym near you in Morzine, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm predominantly a, an adventurer. <laughs> adventurer. <laughs> we're on a bike ride. Second bike ride of the day. I guess I'm more of a, a part-time climber. I haven't never really trained before. I've never really had a gym indoor to like um, go to. So th this is like something I'm quite excited about. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head off into the gym and find our boulder problem. Um, with this whole process, we'll be filming it once a week on Climbing Daily. Uh, no idea how that's going to look at the moment. And we will be vlogging it on our channel. So Hugo's got a YouTube channel. I've got a YouTube channel. It might appear on the Epic TV website, but follow along with that as well for behind the scenes stuff. So uh, if you want to see a bit more of Animas Wall, it's kind of behind me here. Uh, I, we're not going to do like a full tour thing because we have actually done a climbing daily on this. It's a gym tour, so go and check that out. But it's got some pretty spectacular features, including a huge lead slash bouldering wall, which I think Hugo might find a project on, and some overhanging stuff that I'm kind of psyched on. So this is going to be good. Uh, now, of course, everyone's got their warming up techniques. Uh, mine is pretty minimal, but Hugo is cracking on with this. I mean, check this out. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this is my, my normal, my, normally my morning routine. So I have a bit of a bad back. So I have to do this every morning. It's quite a sight. Okay, so that's kind of what we're done. We're going to go find out um, if we can talk to Rusez and see if he can basically tell us which part of the wall that we can, well, it, the route's going to stay there the longest, so we have enough time to project them in order to get them done. Matt thinks he's found one, but we're not sure if it's in the actual yeah. uh, I found something I'd love to climb, but the problem is, is this is like a working climbing wall, so we need to find something that's available for four weeks and is a bit too hard for us. So this might be it. So I found this crimpy overhanging thing up there on the purples, which is my kind of thing. It's like my style, so fingers crossed it will stay. Come on. Come on. Tricky. This could be good. It could be a really high left foot to start. So I could get underneath there, get the toe hook and then go with a high left foot. <laughs> Ooh. Testing the flexibility of Matt Groom to the max. You know earlier when you stretched and I didn't. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try this, uh, this is the blue uh, because I like the color blue and also blue it reflects my eyes and also I think I can Have you got probably blue do eyes? this one. No, I think they're green. It's like a nice contrast. Mm. Anyway, this one, eh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of like got quite big holes and uh, it looks like a nice blue, which is, I'm building up to my project, slowly but surely. Good attempt, man. So you, you almost got to the little crimpy section. Yeah, I was like two moves away, I think. I just needed, I think I need to twist around and then up a bit more. I think I was almost there. I think the blue's kind of within my reach, I feel like, but I haven't done it yet. 
So I've been trying the bicycle thing, which kind of I think would work if you if you're better than I am. But I'm going to try to thug it out because that that is my go-to. You're a thug. I'm a thug. Oh, sorry, should I walk off camera? Just and, and to the face. I could do this. Okay, so we've been playing around on the bouldering wall bit, but one of the highlight features of this climbing wall, which you would have seen if you'd seen the climbing daily, is this monstrosity. Monstrosity. That is a 14 meter long psycho block and this could be our project. Hugo is quite keen to do a sort of endurancey move uh, and this, this is just bonkers. What do you think man, are you scared? Uh, yeah, a little bit, look at the distance. Some of the distances in between that and the pads are pretty scary. Pretty scared. Hang on a second. I'm pretty scared. <laughs> I'm pretty scared. That's fun. What are you going for? Okay, so I'm going to try the red. Uh, it looks all right, like juggy and then a sort of like a, like a pinch section on the volumes and then into a big rest, shake out, and then some more slopey stuff, so. Go on, Matt. Hello, Matt. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. I was so close. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Good work. That was so close. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh, here you go. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, okay, so we both had to go on the um, psycho block wall thing. I reckon, I reckon that this could be good because like it's something that really tests you because you don't get the chance to try longer routes very often. Yeah, I think this is good. Like for me, definitely just that continuous climbing is really good, I think, uh, without even having to clip or without having to do anything. <laughs> Because we should big you up because you're like you're a very fit person like you ski tour you trail run So like endurance might be one of those things that you sort of slot into easier within a within a training schedule Maybe yeah for sure definitely So we've managed to drag Martin away from your lunch uh, apologies for that And um, you're one of the route setters here, but you also set for the World Cups as well sometimes yeah, some, sometimes yeah so both myself and Hugo, we've been kind of drawn to the psycho block wall because uh, we're trying to find a project for the next four weeks yeah. These routes are long. Some of them are almost like 14 meters long. Uh, maybe not so long. Yeah, yeah, they are longer. Maybe up to 14 moves. Maybe not meters. Okay. But for sure, you can you can work your endurance here. Uh, so what I think we're going to do is I'm going to try one of the routes, and Hugo's going to try a route, okay. and then could you give us some tips on how to do it? Because I will fall off it. Okay, with, with pleasure. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
Let's go. Go on. Oh my god, that's hard. Okay, so I got to where you reckoned the first crux was, which is his pinches, yeah. and it felt like I just did it totally wrong. Yeah, you should, uh, you should go first left hand to the good one, I, it's b much better, then the right one is only intermediate to go to the uh, uh, small jack. Okay, so, so, so I went up with the right went, hand? Right, yeah, you went uh, wrong hand uh, first. And underneath the volume there's two underclings? Yeah, so you basically change your hands there and you go left hand. Left hand to the good, good ah. pinch and then you grab this one as an intermediate and you go further with the right hand. And feet kind of around on the triangular volume or, or lower? Yeah, yeah, on the, on the big one. Okay. You stay on the big one. That, uh, that feels hard for me. I dabbed at the bottom as well. I'm sure some of you would have noticed that. Um, it's kind of all right, that middle section, but for me, like endurance is my biggest weakness. Yeah, but so, uh, you have only three moves to the uh, knee bar where you can rest a uh, long time. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, that, this could be the project. And well, yes, this one is for sure uh, more than 7C. This is more than 7C? Yeah, yeah the, maybe the left one is, is 7C. So what, what grade do you think this is? It's more 7C plus. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done any sport climbing in about four months. Um, I've just been bouldering. So, so this is this is this, this these are going to stay here for a while. These roots. So I need to start shouting like that guy. You're um, you're you're mainly right behind the camera, filming climbers. I'm used to being filmed a little bit when I climb. For you, is this quite a scary thing to do, to be filmed climbing? Yeah, so it's scary to be filmed by climbing, but that, that doesn't bother me so much because it's just you filming, so I can just like, pretend that it's just you. It's, but it's taken a while for me to even be comfortable climbing in front of you, I think, <laughs> I've even having known, known uh, you for so long. Uh, and then I've got to climb in front of this uh, root set now who's going to think I'm a uh, total uh, punter, which I am. Come on, come on. Ah. I think I just need to need some new shoes. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it's very wet in here, the conditions are terrible. Oh, I just need to get a bit stronger, I think. That hill was not there. Wow, I'm a fit in this way. Okay guys, so that is the end of today's session. We're gonna be trying to do this every single week. So we'll return to the gym, try our project. And in the meantime, we'll be training, we'll be working out, and we'll be vlogging that process and a little bit of it for climbing daily. So, but the question is, why are we doing this? Well. It's a very good question. Uh, some of it is because we want to go climbing during work, but mainly it's because, look, myself and Hugo, we are normal climbers. Like, we are who you see in everyday gyms, and we just thought it'd be cool just to show how we do it and how we work out and how we climb and just bring a little bit of what we love into climbing daily and make it a little bit more personal. So please comment below if you like this thing, if you want to see more of it or if you hate it. Send us some support, because we're going to need it, because it's going to be a tough couple of weeks. Fingers crossed it goes, and um, we'll see you next week.